All right. <clears throat> Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about Portland's new voting method, single transferable vote, also known as. So stick with me. I mean, stick with us. Hi. Uh, and we'll show you how single transferable vote works. In this video, we're going to unpack Portland's new voting method for city council. In 2024, voters in Portland will have the option to rank candidates on the ballot. Then those rankings will be used to elect the three most popular candidates in each district. Say hello to your candidates. Hi. There are five of them, but there are only three seats. What to do? To get one of these seats, they need to reach the threshold. With three seats available, the threshold is 25% plus one vote. Why? Think of it like dividing a cake. If three people take just over a quarter, then there's not enough left for anyone else to get a full slice. Let's say in this election there are 100 votes. That means the threshold is 26 votes. We'll start by counting everyone's first choice. Let's see. Wow, Mike's our first winner. Way to go, Mike. Hooray. OK, remember, Mike only needs 26 votes to win. Let's move Mike's extra votes, also known as surplus votes, to the second choice on his voters' ballots. But we're not just going to move the votes above the threshold, because then only those voters get to support their second choice. Instead, we'll move an equal portion of every vote for Mike to the second choice on that ballot. If you're the type of person who does fractions for fun, here is the math. For the rest of us, let's just say that Mike keeps only the votes he needs and the rest is divided equally between voters' second choices. And now Ling hits the threshold. Nice job, Ling. OK, there's one seat left, but no one else has enough votes to be elected. We have to eliminate the candidate with the fewest first choice votes. Sorry, Gus, you have the fewest votes, so you're out. All votes for Gus now move to his voters' second choices. This time, we can move the whole vote because no part of it can count for Gus anymore. And that means Barb wins a seat. All right, Barb. And that concludes our election. Congrats, counselors. OK, let's recap. With single transferable vote, voters rank candidates, votes are counted in rounds, and candidates can win with a combination of first choice votes, surplus votes, and votes from eliminated candidates. Aw, Gus. So if you want your favorite candidates to get as many votes as possible, make sure to rank your ballot. <laughs> That's it for today. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit that like button. And for more info, go to rosecityreform.org. Okay, bye!